update. My boyfriend, 26 male, found out I'm 26 female, rich, and started using it against me. Original story. My boyfriend and I met through a dating app eight months ago, and we've had a good, steady relationship. I come from a well-off family, but my parents never spoiled me. They taught me to not indulge in excess and to keep my privilege in mind when interacting with people. I'm currently living in an apartment with only my salary. I haven't told my boyfriend about my wealth. I wasn't actively hiding it; it just didn't come up. My birthday was a few weeks ago, and my parents threw a party at our home. Our home is a medium-sized villa. My boyfriend started scowling when I told him that that was the home I grew up in. When I asked him about it, he told me it was nothing and started smiling again. His mood got worse as more and more of my parents' rich friends started coming in. When I asked him about it the next day, he just told me that he was feeling a little sick. After we got back, he asked me why he had the fact that I was rich. I told him that I wasn't hiding it, but he started bringing it up in every conversation after that, like telling me that I didn't know how to cook properly because I was spoiled. He brought it up with his friends, telling them I was a spoiled princess who had everything handed to me. It started as jokes. But it got more hostile as days went on. When I brought this up, he told me I didn't know normal people's problems because I was rich. Did I do something wrong? What should I do? Now for the top advice before reading the update. Well, technically you're not rich. Your parents are. Did he discuss his parents' income with you when you started dating? Drop the man child though. He doesn't get to dismiss your feelings now due to his own assumptions. Not only that, but he's actively insulting her. Relationships can survive many things, but they cannot survive contempt. What she describes is contempt. Contempt is one of the four relationship killers. The others are criticism, defensiveness, and stonewalling. Three words. Only eight months. He's 26 years old and acting like a teenage a-hole. Don't waste your time on this guy. Heads up, if you decide to dump him, he might tell people because he was too poor for you. If you got any of these rude jokes on text, I would save them. He would definitely tell people that's the reason. But if they don't have any mutuals, I honestly wouldn't even worry about what he says in the end. Just dump him and move on. You've got to end this. This is clearly something he's incredibly insecure about. It's only going to get worse. What happens later? He starts asking for money, or starts making you feel like crap about something you had no control about growing up. Wealth is success, and if someone is jealous of that, it's ridiculous. Exactly, you did nothing wrong. He's obviously very class conscious and has preconceived ideas of people who have money. You sound like a humble human being, and he's an a-hole for not admiring that you live by your own means when you don't technically have to. It doesn't sound like it'll get better without him doing some soul searching and confronting his prejudice, but that doesn't mean you have to accompany him on his journey. Good luck. And now for the update. After I made a Reddit post, I tried to have a conversation with him, but he kept stonewalling me. He made more snide comments, and so I decided to break up. When I told him that I was leaving him, it felt like he was expecting it. He called me a rich witch and went on a rant about how I was leaving him because he was poor. Some commenters told me to expect this, but it still came as a shock. He and I have very good salaries, and I don't know why he said that. He was a good person most of the time I knew him. Some people ask me why I didn't warn him about my wealth. All my relationships before him were with people in my social class, so the expectation of wealth was implicit. Having wealth was not a big deal in any of my previous relationships, so I assumed it was the same in this one too. I'll warn my partners before taking them home into future relationships. This is a tangent, but I wanted to talk about "I'm not rich, my parents are" thing that many comments suggested. A lot of my friends from wealthy families used that line as a defense, but it is misleading. If I wanted to, I could dip into my parents' finances. I choose not to, but it is still my wealth too. It might technically be my parents' money, but it still makes me wealthy. And having wealthy parents comes with a lot of privileges, even if I don't actively use their money. I never had to work a job when I was studying. I had access to the best schooling. I don't have student loans, and my parents' connections open a lot of doors. Having a safety net let me find what I was good at and let me take risks. So unless they are estranged from their families, children from wealthy families are also wealthy. I thank all the people who commented in my original post and gave me advice. I felt like I was doing something wrong, but you made me see that it was his insecurity and jealousy that was the issue. Having a safety net let me find what I was good at and let me take risks. 
Excellent point. A lot of people don't understand how big of a deal that is. Even if you're not taking risks, just knowing if you get laid off, get injured, have your house burned down or whatever, that you have a safe place to go to with money to get back on your feet can be a huge stress relief. I'm glad Obi recognizes and appreciates what she has. Everything she said is true. Boyfriend is a jerk, and you're well rid of him, Obi. As someone who has never had a safety net, my dad died when I was 18. My mom had a breakdown and totally became a different person to me when that happened. I can't even express how much that safety net matters. You might not know how important that is when you have it, but when you don't, oh wow, life can suck. You sound like you have a good head on your shoulders. I'm sorry, Poldy, because I'm poor card, but you know it isn't true, and don't internalize it. You broke up with him because he was acting like an a-hole. What upsets me about this is that you have such a great attitude about this, but your ex still couldn't cope. I grew up very poor, but my friends were quite well off as I lived in a fairly wealthy area. Like you, they weren't total wankers, so this wasn't an issue. I can't see what your ex's problem is here. I agree. I'm also a very salty, poor person, and I chase the money and all I do because I'm so incredibly jealous of rich people. But if I dated someone well off, I wouldn't be hateful. I would be happy I could be marrying into it. Maybe it's a gender thing. And the dude's been fine knowing him and her, possibly. Make the same salary. However, when he found out about her family, he then immediately put her to category for being more rich and more wealthy, and thus his fragile ego shattered. Next story is titled, Crazy Update. My 21 female boyfriend, 23 male of 10 months, just told me today he doesn't like the idea of present giving and I shouldn't expect any for Christmas. I've already spent 100 plus dollars on him. Original story. I've been dating Rob since February and I thought things were going really well. Until today. I know it's already ridiculously late to speak about presents and I wish we discussed this earlier. I just assumed even if we hadn't spoken about giving presents, we would still be exchanging some. Well, today I brought up that I couldn't wait for Christmas, and I was wondering what my parents were going to get me, and he started going off about how he's so against presents and the idea of gifts. I was taken aback and asked, so you're not giving me anything? And I said, nah. He told me he's never bought anything for anyone, so I shouldn't expect to be different. We spoke for a long while about why and such, but it's not important, as in the end he still isn't going to give me anything. I feel as if things have changed since this conversation, in only a few hours. I feel as if I'm obviously not too important to him if he hasn't gone out of his way to get me even a tiny gift. I made it clear I do like giving and receiving presents, and I told him I'd already bought his, so he said to take his then. Is it wrong of me to not want to give him his presents if I want to be receiving one? I think it's a little selfish as going to accept his present without giving me anything. I don't want to break up, but I'm wondering how important this relationship is to him. This may sound melodramatic, but I've never been with someone with such odd views on Christmas. What do you guys think? Should I take his present back? Should I give it to him and ask if he'll make an exception and buy me at least a little something? Or should I keep the presents for myself? Also, if things were going to go downhill, is this a ridiculous reason to break up over? Have you ever met someone with similar opinions? Thanks in advance. Now for the advice before the update. I told him I'd already bought his, so he said to take his then. I'm not getting you anything, but I'll happily accept a hundred plus dollars of gifts you bought for me without reciprocating. Yeah, no. You take that stuff back and buy yourself a nice gift. No kidding. That response is not the response of somebody with a philosophical objection to present giving. That is the response of a selfish, greedy person. Can you return his gift? If you're not going to receive anything, then neither should he. And if he complains, you can tell him that too. You said you're not really a gift kind of guy, and since I won't be getting anything, I don't think it was fair that I spent this much money on you. I might try to get away from explicitly mentioning money, so it seems less like a tit-for-tat situation. Maybe more like, you said you're not really a gift kind of guy. When I bought a gift for you, I thought we were going to share an experience of exchanging gifts. It's not the same if we can't have the moment together, so I just returned it. He sounds like a bit of an A, to be honest. It's not just about him not believing in gifts. That's fine. What rubs me the wrong way is that I basically told you that you were no more special to him than anyone else has ever been with. I worked a long time in retail, and I think Christmas is pretty cheesy and stupid. 
but it makes a lot of people close to me happy, including my significant other, and I still participate every year. It's not really about the gifts, it's about making people feel good. If he cared about you, he'd do the same. And now for the crazy update. Firstly, thank you so much, guys. I received so many helpful comments and messages, and I'm truly very grateful. It was nice to see everyone's opinions and have some insight. Lots of things has happened since I wrote this post, and it's been pretty hectic. I decided to keep the gift I got him. It was two games for the PS4, and because I like gaming and I didn't have those games, I figured I'd keep them for myself. I knew taking them back would be pointless because I'd end up buying something similar anyway. So I opened them as I was feeling way too stressed about this and played them happily. It had cheered me up a bit, and so did calling a few friends. So I decided to speak to him. I went over to his house, and I asked him if this meant I'd not be getting presents for my birthday or Valentine's either. I said those holidays were different. Apparently, the only holiday he was against giving gifts on is Christmas. This confused me even more, because if he's against present giving, shouldn't it be for all holidays and not just one? I asked him if it had to do with religious reasons, and I said no. He just disliked the idea of Christmas, and that was it. He had been brought up thinking it wasn't normal to give presents on Christmas. Then I brought up another point that was mentioned a few times in the comments. How come I wasn't an exception? I should be just a little bit important to him, I hope, and therefore he could have bought me something anyway just because I'm his girlfriend, and it would have been nice to receive something. He told me he'd never make an exception for anyone because those were his beliefs, and anyone who dated him would need to understand and respect that. We argued for a long time. Like, I'm thinking we spent at least four hours just sitting in his room discussing why he was so against giving me anything. Also, why was he so alright with buying me something for my birthday and Valentine's, but not Christmas? I would understand if it was for religious reasons, but he clearly stated it had nothing to do with that. He blamed it on his parents, which makes the next part even more interesting. His mother comes into the room, asking us to come into the living room. I knew they were leaving on the 24th for a small vacation, so I was wondering if this was a small goodbye, or maybe even perhaps to scold us for yelling at each other. The house is big, but I don't doubt they could have heard a little bit. And then I was speechless. Sitting on a dining table are his parents and six wrapped up gifts. I look at him and was like, really? You don't celebrate giving presents on Christmas because your parents are against it, but they do? The parents sat us down and gave each of us a gift and told us to open it now, and would have our own small Christmas just a day before. I opened it, was a lovely gift, thanked them, etc., all while killing my boyfriend mentally. I was a little annoyed. And then this happens. He starts grinning while I'm glaring, and takes out a gift. For me. I want to cry at this point. What on earth is actually going on? He hands me the gift, and is a Swarovski necklace, looking pretty expensive. He smiles. The parents leave to give us some space and I smile back, still really freaking confused. He said it was hard to try and hide this gift while I was yelling at him earlier, but all along he had made an exception for me. All of it was a surprise. He doesn't believe in present giving, but still had bought me one anyway just because he thought I deserved it. So at this point he still doesn't believe in giving anyone presents, but he did buy me one. I was immediately really happy and hugged him. It's a lovely necklace. And I apologized over and over again for yelling. We have a really nice time and head back to the bedroom and watch TV, cuddling and having a sweet time. He then asks for his present. I tell him I've opened them already and kept them for myself, so I'm going to need time to buy him a new one. He suddenly becomes furious. I explained he told me he wasn't going to get me something, so obviously I wasn't going to be giving him one if I wasn't supposed to expect anything back. Gets really mad, saying I should have kept the present for him because in the end, he did get me something. But how was I supposed to know that? He begins to scream about how I'm an ungrateful cow, and how he shouldn't have spent a penny on me. His mother comes in, tells him to calm down, and he screams at me to leave the house that he never wants to see me again. I do, and take the necklace, perhaps a bad move. I explained I will buy him a new gift, a better one, and still he's too angry at me to understand he only needs to wait a day. I left and came home really confused. I tried calling and he hasn't answered. I've been calling since I left the house three hours ago. Guys, I don't know what to do. I'm so confused and today has been one hell of a day. Any advice is appreciated. I'm thinking of going back there tomorrow. 
I'm sorry if this wasn't written the best way. My head is all over the place. I've also spoken to my best friends, and they're also confused as hell. Thanks in advance. So, he tells you that he doesn't want to exchange gifts, then gets upset when you believe him? Sounds like a real winner you've got there. Yep, how dare she not read his mind. Don't you know anything about Christmas magic, OP? Yeah, he is a jerk, who threw a fit and offended you over something you could not possibly know, OP. I can't fathom how he thought it's gonna play out. Also, have fun playing games while wearing an expensive necklace. And hopefully celebrating being jerk-free from now on. Can you imagine living your life with a person who thinks it's okay to play games with people's emotions like that? Awful. What happened here was, he had a very specific scenario worked out in which you were going to be swept off your feet by the surprise necklace. What he didn't take into account is that, when you surprise people, you risk them having an unpredictable reaction. Now he is butthurt that he didn't react the way he scripted everything out in his head. I think you should send a necklace back and break up, but if you do try to work it out, you need to tell him to be more respectful and show more empathy. This whole exchange showed that, in the process of giving you a gift, he was entirely focused on himself. Why would you try to work it out with someone who called you a cow to your face? Not only that, but the whole family dynamic is super weird. The parents heard them arguing for hours over this, and then just surprises them with gifts? And all the mom has to say over her crazy son calling his girlfriend an ungrateful cow and leave the house, never to return, is a simple calm down? Either this is usual behavior on Hassan's part, or it's possibly learned behavior from the dad. Still don't want any of that nope cake. That is some weird game playing on the part of the boyfriend. That kind of pranking and gotcha is just plain sicko. He kept you in his room four damn hours telling you why he won't give you a gift, and then pulls the old, where's my gift? A friend doesn't treat a friend like that. I would not find his behavior forgivable, and would return the necklace. And I surely would not want to spend the next few years trying to figure out when he is pranking me and when he's being truthful. I'd end a relationship.